This is about personal health and safety. We took the bold step, the president, in his outline, took the bold step to do or implement this vaccination program. Nova Southeastern University COO Dr. Harry Moon says not only will this allow more classrooms to return to the way they were pre-pandemic, but campus dining, sports, and recreational activities will open up more as well. The intent is to get back to the classroom, back to a, a more efficient, more productive educational environment as soon as possible. Moon was asked about the legality of this decision, which he describes as a bold step. The legality of it will be decided you know, in whatever method there is, but these are the steps that we are taking. We asked attorney James Poindexter of Delegal and Poindexter out of Tallahassee, which specializes in labor and employment law, if NSU's vaccination mandate could be challenged in court. Institutions of higher education for a long time have mandated that students and faculty members get certain vaccinations. In this case, uh, uh, you're essentially adding a new vaccine to that. He says the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission has issued guidance, which states as long as a university or employer provides accommodations for people with bona fide religious or medical exemptions, a COVID-19 vaccination mandate for students or employees is allowed in most cases. Unless the regulations change or the guidance from the EEOC changes, um, I don't foresee an ability to challenge uh, uh, those types of mandates. At NSU, university leaders say they're currently working on formal policy to provide exemptions and accommodations for people with medical conditions prohibiting vaccinations or sincerely held religious beliefs prohibiting them.